quacking or some shit in the background. There's like some bird outside and he's going like quack 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 and I'm like, like what the what the fuck is that? Yo 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 thanks for tuning in to the 45th episode of J Talks Crypto and in this episode I'm gonna be talking about who I'm subscribed to on YouTube what am I watching uh, in terms of like what's Bitcoin related and stuff like that and um, why I think you should subscribe to them uh, this video is not really in a tiered order I'm just kind of freestyling it as you know um, but it's people that I think that I think that you should watch um, <clears throat> the first channel that I'm gonna go over is my dudes at simply Bitcoin Shout out to, to Coin Igorous and, and Bitvolt. Uh, they're, the, they're the fucking shit. Um, what do I gotta say about them? Like, they keep it real. Like, they keep you in check. <laughs> they uh, they kind of just like, um, they're not full of shit. They're not really trying to like, dump some random tokens on you. They're not gonna try to fucking chill you some shit. They just hit you with uh, straight information. Um, if there's any channel that you're gonna subscribe to, uh, coming out of this video I would say watch Simply Bitcoin um, they really really fucking get into the nitty gritty and if you watch nothing else other than their channel um, I feel like you don't even have to really go on Twitter you don't have to like go on YouTube and see too many other different uh, news sources I feel like they do a really really good job at kind of like just covering a whole bunch of shit um <clears throat> They might seem radical to like some people. Like, I know that on YouTube there's like um, just a whole bunch of like altcoin and, and like shitcoin channels, and they're kind of they're kind of like super super hardcore on it. Um, but I think that's kind of like what's needed for a lot of the noobs um, because, like, yo, I like like I remember when I like if you if you go look at my channel earlier in my channel in my history i was talking about like ethereum a bit and like i was tuning into simply bitcoin and i was just kind of like you know like kind of kind of like flirting with like the maximalism thing and uh, that's such a bullshit term but you know they pointed out that vitalik straight up dumped ETH on people and i never forgot that and i was just kind of like yo this guy fucking vitalik is over here dumping his ETH, and i'm gonna fucking do that shit too and that's not some shit that I would have known if it wasn't for them. And I was on Twitter around at the time because I was like seeing, starting to see some of these posts, um, you know, like about the, the, the dark sides of ETH. Um, and uh, it's not just for ETH. Like, you know, they don't just focus on their hate on Ethereum. They kind of just, I feel like they do a good job at identifying what's wrong with like the shitcoin dynamics. And um, they do their research and... And yeah, that's why I would say that I that I recommend them. Um, I could I could say more, but keep uh, you know do your own research. Uh, the next channel that I want to go over is uh, my dude BTC Sessions. Um, <clears throat> it's just he has like a fucking a whole bunch of fucking dope ass set of videos, and it'll get you up to speed on like. The latest and greatest in Bitcoin land. One of the things that I love about his channel is that I feel like he doesn't really get involved in like what I would call like the drama. Um, you know, he's just like, yo, if your shit is Bitcoin related, I'm gonna check that shit out and like I'm gonna judge it based off like, you know, my opinion on it or show you how to set it up. And it's not really like, you know, there's not too, there's not a lot more to it. Um, he does I, I love that he's fucking bitcoin focused he's not gonna he's i don't really think that he's gonna show you some sort of altcoin uh, i just i love his channel i love his takes he's um he's a fucking dope dude check that shit out the next one is tales from the crypt rabbit hole recap with uh marty ben and matt odell these uh this is probably like another one of my really really fucking favorite channels i just fucking love these dudes these guys are just so fucking real um, it's, uh, in, in like, I guess like in Bitcoin land, if you're not 
in it for just like straight up number grow up like you know it's 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 bullshit to say that you're not in it for that because like you know i i am and so is everyone else but there's more to it than that and one of the things that i really love about this channel is that i feel like this is where you get the most of that like you do get like matt and hitting you with like a lot of the fucking privacy advocacy advocacy shit and you know that's really fucking important that was uh one of the reasons why i kind of like got into the tech and to begin with or like what one of the reasons why i really caught my eye anyway what i fucking love about their channels they do get they, they do get into the technicals and they do give you like they keep you like on mission um a lot of the times before like when i was like stacking by myself and not really like watching some of these dudes um you didn't really have like a sense of community or, or like friendship and and it's because of, like a lot of the channels that i was watching was like a lot of the super technical shit like you know just andreas and you know fucking love andreas but like you know he's not some dude like you know matt or marty that i feel like i would actually like you know like i kind of i, kinda, I feel like i kind of know them in a way uh just because of like the way they talk maybe it's because they're, they're from the northeast and i'm from the northeast um northeast northeast yugoslavia <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> anyway so uh check them out they're fucking dope and they always have solid takes and um i think they're they're fucking lit i'm not i'm not talking shit on anybody in in, in this video uh that's uh so if you're if you're hoping for some drama like that's not that's not really my mo um I guess since I just mentioned it, this one is absolutely a fucking must subscribe. Um, there is a, a lot of like some. He's like a little bit shit coiny sometimes. Not really. Like not really. Like yeah, I feel like if you look at his videos, he's just kind of like straight up. Most of the time, he talks about fucking Bitcoin. Uh, the le the man, the myth, the legend, Andreas Antonopoulos. He was like my OG Bitcoin dad. I'll always love him for that. Sometimes he shows Ethereum still. Um, I think he does it from like. A place of genuine uh, intellectual curiosity and cypherpunk ethos. I don't really agree with uh, a lot of those things, a lot of the things, but I do feel that there is a lot that could be useful with kind of like those uh, turn complete smart contract languages. So I fucking respect that someone's fucking doing the research. Um, I'm never going to forget in 2019 during the um, Libra DM whatever you want to fucking call it shit um, he was one of the first dudes that fucking read the actual paper and picked it apart and he was just like nah like this is a fucking serious attempt at like this shit and um, I like that we have someone out there that's like like you know just like fucking straight up Bitcoin focused um, in a way and, or he knows Bitcoin and he's still making contribu contributions to Bitcoin because he just did some shit where I think uh, I think they're finally releasing Mastering Lightning. Um, so he's still doing shit. That dude's an OG. And um, a lot of Maxis hate him, but, like, respect to him no matter what. Uh, ch check out his channel. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't... I'm, I'm not going to say don't buy his courses, but, you know, because, like, my, my shit is, like, you know, I, I don't... I, I'm going to tell everybody not to buy shit, buy Bitcoin. But, you know... That's it. It, it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm such a savage, bro. Um, another one. Uh, they haven't been posting uh, too many videos lately, but I still think it's a. It's a, like a must subscribe, and that's uh, the Orange Pill Podcast uh, <laughs> with Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert. Um, Orange Pill Podcast. Max is a fucking savage. Um, he's fucking crazy, and. Um, that was one of like his craziness was kind of like one of the things that like made me like you know even like like I, I guess like look into the Bitcoin thing um, in in like Bitcoin land uh, there's like this theory that like in order to like really understand or like get the desire to like learn about or you know find out about Bitcoin more and more in depth uh you have to have several touch points and um i think that's what max kaiser tries to do with 
the like the super over the top shit because he's trying to give people a touch point if he if you know you have to think about like he has a lot of reach and like if he goes super duper over the top and ridiculous on something something like that might go viral and give like a whole bunch of people uh, a fucking touch point and like even though they might not buy it immediately um you see me i was just kind of like what the fuck is going on with the hash rate uh we just changed blocks uh, I don't think we're going to get an, another fucking... That would be wild if we got a fucking 27% downward difficulty adjustment. I mean, I'll be happy because I'm, I'm making more stats, but holy shit, that's a fucking uh, surprising to look at. Um, that, <laughs> um, I guess you just caught that genuine reaction. That's pretty dope. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say about, Ma uh, about Max Kaiser is that if he does the like these over the top things, it might be off putting to some people, but just know that there's kind of like a, a method to the madness on that. I have like a, I guess this is gonna be a long ass video. Um, I'll try to try to say something about everybody um, that comes up. Uh, if it's not as in depth as the first couple, it's just because I'm getting tired of talking about it. Um, but yeah. The next one that I'm actually going to go over, because uh, pretty much he has a, must, a fucking must-watch, um, is uh, the Robert Breed Love Channel, uh, the What Is Money show. Um, <clears throat> his fucking The Sailor series is, like, one of the things that really helped me build conviction in Bitcoin as, like... You know, like, as a fucking pristine asset, I guess. Like, you know, like, it was for such a long time, like, I would hear people say that shit, and it was fucking corny as fuck. But, like, I guess, like, I, I understand what they mean now. And, um, yeah, it's just, like, that, that fucking entire series, like, they go through, like, fucking all of kind of, like, history and modern times and just, like, through so much fucking shit where they kind of, like, give you, like, like this giant fucking thesis about, like, what the fuck is this Bitcoin shit? And that's kind of, like, like, that's, I mean, I, I was already, you know, I fucking Fran, Fran ran the shit out of fucking Sailor. Uh, you know, not, he, he, he wrecked me with his first stack, but it doesn't matter. I still Fran ran the shit out of him. Uh, <laughs> and, um... But that's not the point, because he knew more about it when he bought it than I did. He had a significantly more developed thesis about it uh, than I did, and that's what allowed him to go in with uh, such deep conviction. And that's what, like, just if, like, like if just for that, like, the, the that channel is a fucking must-subscribe. Um, I still think he's coming out with... Um, different videos uh, with different people that are you know they're fucking dope I, i'm not gonna like act like i fucking watch them as deeply as i've watched the the sailor series um i did actually recently watch the video that he did with um raul paul and um that like you know a lot a lot of times uh, people might not like uh that perspective because uh raul paul is a little, a little bit shit coiny um but I think that that's a very, like that was a really really interesting conversation, um, and I'm at, and actually because of that conversation, I'm now listening to the audiobook of the Fourth Turning because it's just uh, it's a it, it's nice to have that in the back of your head, um, when you're trying to process kind of like what's going on with this whole crypto world, um, and if anything, you should be kind of like exposed to that because. There's a lot of philosophical components to Bitcoin, and this uh, this channel is one of the reasons, uh, one of the things that explores that. Um, Tying in to the uh, philosophy kind of thing, um, I would say that you <laughs> need to check out the inappropriately named 
um, Bitcoin Rapid Fire with John Vallis. Um, he just goes really in depth with a lot of people. Um, it's not a rapid fire. It's a. It's definitely like an hour and plus change conversation with somebody, but it's um, it has a lot of signal and a lot of insight. I could go on, but like John Vallis is just a fucking cool dude. Uh, I would fucking love to hang out with him. <laughs> He's like, uh, you know, he just seems super real. Um, and I appreciate his perspective on a lot of his videos. I do have a fucking massive backlog. Um, but anytime I see a conversation with this guy, it's always just like super insightful. And um, I love just hearing about people talk. And it's not just about number go up. And that's kind of like what this channel um you know, brings. It's like uh, Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer network, and um, it's important to know who some of these peers are and what are their values, and um, that's what this channel showcases. Another must-watch. Um, it's not. I w I don't know if it's a, if it's a super in-your-face uh, crypto channel, but I think uh, Mark Moss. Uh, produces great content where he uh, just gives like a lot of historical context as to kind of like what's going on where things could be going and you know kind of like like what to do like to, to prepare for it or how to like think about uh, think about these things I think you should give his uh, channel a sub because the content speaks for itself this one obviously um, even uh, if you if you're not a big fan of his style, I personally am. I like it. Um, if it wasn't for this channel, I uh, I would say that it was kind of like my first uh, gateway drug <laughs> into uh, like Bitcoin maximalism. Um, I had always heard the term, but I never really like I guess saw a Bitcoin maximalist because a lot of a lot of the channels on YouTube were generally like you know, like shitcoin channels or guys that or Bitcoin mostly, but then like, you know, dabbled in shitcoins. And um, I never understood the Bitcoin only perspective until like I saw oh, so the channel that I'm talking about, what what, what Bitcoin did with uh, Pete McCormick. And, um, you know, just kind of like going on with uh, the, the previous conversation about like meeting your peers and um um, Pete does a really, really good job at like, you know, meeting a whole bunch of meeting and talking to a whole bunch of different peers like in the network. If there's <clears throat> anyone who's talked to more people in Bitcoin, it's Pete and, um, you know, Pete McCormick. Like I, I do has been fucking grinding for ages. Um, I struggle to push out one video a week. This guy's um, doing, you know, several videos a week and um, he's fucking going places and talking, you know, having harder conversations that I'm having. You know, I'm over here just fucking ranting at a camera. Oh, uh, this guy's actually fucking working. And then, just in general, I feel like his style is pretty relatable. Like, uh, a lot of the times, I've been seeing, like, uh, like, people say that, like, oh, like, they want to see um, Jordan Peterson or Saifedean on fucking um, Joe Rogan. But I kind of feel that Pete McCormick would, or like, there's only like the the number one dude I would, would want to see on fucking Joe Rogan's show is Jack Mallers, hands down, hands down Jack Mallers. It's like my number one, like top dog, number one pick. <laughs> um, number two, I don't I don't really know how how strongly I feel about this, but I do like Pete McCormick because. Um, he has kind of like a cool style. Um, is he's very approachable, um, and he's very reasonable, and I feel like a lot of people relate to him, and that's kind of like why he is one of the most popular Bitcoin channels, um, well, Bitcoin only channels. All right, I'm gonna go over two more channels for now. Uh, this video is actually a lot longer than I expected it to be. Um, so this was one of the channels that I like started with. He does, the name of the channel is The Modern Investor. He does kind of like talk about um, altcoins a little bit. Um, 
he's like very very bitcoin bitcoin mostly and i actually stopped watching his channel for a bit because he started dabbling a little bit too much in nfts and i felt like anytime i would see his videos i would click into it you know he was like talking about selling his nfts and i was just kind of like you're losing me i know we're in a bull run but you're losing me a little bit but it seems like he's uh he's been going back to uh you know like most of his uh bitcoin content and uh, i really appreciate that because um he does he he kind of like um detaches himself from like you know the, the the bitcoin maximalism thing and he tries to uh view it very rationally as in like the entire crypto space i personally have a, a disagreement on on that i don't know like how viable the entire crypto space really is um but it's nice to see someone who uh just very very strongly believes in bitcoin and takes an attitude is like well if you could flip bitcoin then just shut the fuck up and do it uh stop being a bitch like you know I, that's what i fuck with him why i fuck with him because it's just like yeah it's true it's just like a lot of these altcoins are saying they can do this they can do that it's like bro shut the fuck up and do it like do it like and that's kind of like what i really like about him and um the dude is a machine he works like you know he's just like over here and he just reports like articles like on a, on a whole bunch of things that are going on in the broader crypto space and it's uh it's really good to have that um even if you're not into shit coins um it might be a good idea to you know just check out his channel and see like what other people are tuning into and i guess the last channel that i'm going to close this up with is Anthony Pompliano, um, the best business show. Um, I think that, like, he gets a, on Twitter. He gets like a lot of crap, cause uh, I guess cause of his fucking thumbnails or, or some shit like that. Like everyone fucking does it on YouTube. I don't understand like what the fucking problem is. I feel like if you actually watch his content, um, most of the time he, the, at least the perception that I've always had from him. Uh, is to always just fucking buy Bitcoin and don't do anything else. Like, so I don't know. It's just if that's the perception that I've gotten from him, I don't understand the controversy uh, too much. But I don't know. I pre I, I appreciate his perspective on shit sometimes. Like, you might not like everything that he says, but I think that he's like generally speaking a, a solid advocate for Bitcoin and he knows how to like articulate. Um, a lot of benefits to an audience that's actually receptive to it and that's not something that is very very common in the bitcoin land like you know like say what you want to say about pomp but pomp got mainstream appeal uh pomp is like someone that you can see on like you know uh, a tv show someone that like uh maybe some an older person might feel uh, more confident learning from um and uh I do feel that, like, say, I think that he's going to try to steer them in the right direction and kind of be like, look, if you want to dabble in this other shit, like, go the fuck ahead. I don't really think that that's worth your time. And I think that you should focus on Bitcoin. I think that that's generally speaking his message. And that's generally why I still watch his content. And then, like, yeah, they're just <laughs> they just seem like dope dudes. Like, they seem like 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 do like dudes that I would actually like want to fucking chill with. Um so yeah i'm wrapping this video up uh, it's getting kind of long like comment subscribe you guys know i hate fucking asking pero this is jtalks crypto and i'm signing off